They're coming to get you, Barbara. The Fear Central Radio Show. Warning, our content may include spoilers and is intended for mature audiences. Hey fellow horror fans, welcome to the Fear Central Radio Show. And let me turn down the volume on my uh, cellular device. Um, I am your host, Mike. And uh, joining me this week, as always, we have someone pick. Katie. Paul. Heather. Chris. Okay. And Mike. And Mike. Where's and Mike? And Mickey Mouse roll call. Found him. Where'd he go? <laughs> Mike disappeared. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike. Um, but we are still doing our um, watching review. It should really be called um, Dinner on the Slab in a Slasher Flick. Dinner on the Slab. Mm-hmm. And a flick. Mm-hmm. We flick dinner on the slab. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Heather does. I try. Tales from know, the Couch. She does that goddamn Tales catering. from the Couch. <laughs> <laughs> what was the title of it? Goddamn Movie Cater. There you Goddamn go. Movie Cater. All right. G A W, thank you very much. <laughs> God. God damn. Yeah. God damn. Because it was pretty good. Scoopy tonight. taking the Lord's name in vain? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. God. I don't know. I didn't give it the name, Mike. <laughs> Mike bestowed me with such wonderful awesomeness. Yes. I think it was um, kind of like he came up with a name and then all of a sudden it just stuck. I think that's what happens. Stuck. That happens a lot. Get stuck. Anyways. Anyway. Okay, so this week. This week was your pick. It was actually. my pick. Yes, and what did you pick? I picked Camera Obscura. You did? I did. You did. I did. Um, let me see here. I'm looking to see what the Rotten Tomatoes may have given it. The Rotten Maters. Rotten Maters. It got a 35 on Metascore. Right. And let's see. I haven't found the Rotten Tomatoes score yet. I don't know. Maybe they didn't watch it. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, why the hell not? They watch everything else. Mm, well, if it's got enough for a Metacritic score, it should have enough yeah. for a Rotten Tomato score. You would think so. Right. Because uh, Imdaba gave it a 6.6. Really? Uh-huh. Were they wow. awake? You didn't even watch the whole damn thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> I watched most of it. <laughs> you have to watch the whole thing. I there missed, like, stuff. what, the five tang. minutes? You've got to watch stuff. the whole thing. Five minutes I missed. Depends on which five minutes you missed. She missed an important five minutes, oh. I think. <laughs> yeah. I won't say they were important, right. Bob. It got a 29 on Rotten Tomatoes. 29, okay. So a 35 on Metascore, oh. 6.5 on wow. IMDb, and a what? Uh, 29. 29. And a 1 out of 4 from Roger Burt. Okay. Which, <laughs> usually means, which usually means it's going to be decent. Well, it's it's RogerEbert.com. I mean, it's not Roger Ebert. No, no, yeah. it says Roger Ebert. He was not alive. Oh, I know, we're just telling you. <laughs> I thought it was just... <laughs> it's, he has his own... Web, it's a website in his oh, name. Oh, Siskel oh. died. Okay. Well, okay. Huh? Um, Sid Siskel died? Siskel died. Ebert died later on. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. Who the fuck is taking over Ebert shit? Jaw cancer? Uh... Roper and uh, there's a couple other okay. critics. Yes. Okay. And usually when the critics give it a lower score, that's usually when I like it the most. Right. Well, and then you should have loved Suck, damn it. I hated Suck. That <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> they roasted oh. Suck. I like Suck. I didn't I was, say anything about corner. Canadians. You I just did said too? That. Not right Let's now. Let's go back not. and listen <laughs> to that show. <laughs> that was last week. This is this week. We have, um, we have moved on. Well, actually, it was two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, to we'll to the east side? Yeah. I've no. even forgotten how long ago it was. To the east side? <laughs> yeah, moving on up. All right. To the um, Felix apartment in the sky. But yeah, Camera Obscura came out this year, actually. Um, what was the date I saw this? Here? In June. Mm, Release date good. of June 9th. Yep. Uh, tagline is, take a picture, take a life. Oh, well. Okay. That's, you know. Yeah. yeah. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Okay. Um, take right. <laughs> uh, before we actually go too much further into this, we have some moments of silence for this week. Yes, we yes, do. we do. Um, because we lost two, three, three, three. great three? people. Mm-hmm. I think I missed one. We lost. Uh, oh, never mind. George A. Romero. I caught it. Yeah. So, 
Um, Archer very, lost very there. Good yes. Man. Um, there was Martin Lindau. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we just recently lost Chester Bennington. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which, granted, was not Mr. Movie Man, but he, he and his in. band did a lot of music for And he was film. in one of the Saw films. Yeah. So, um, yeah. gotta give our heartfelt out to them. And their families. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now moving on. In honor of Martin Landau. Yes. Let's shoot this fucker. Right. There, <laughs> there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> moving right along. Uh, okay, so it says for the basic little synopsis here. A veteran war photographer with PTSD sees imminent deaths in his developed photos. Questioning his already fragile sanity and putting the lives of those he loves in danger. There was only one life. I was going to say, shouldn't it be the life he loved or the one he loved? But but the, the life of I mean, the one he loves, yeah. I should yeah. say. Yeah. Because he's really not trying to save... Well, no, because he is trying to save the, little, the kids. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I can dig it. I don't know. It's kind of vague. It is kind of vague. Um, but it was directed by... Aaron B. Koontz. Aaron B. Koontz. Written by Cameron Burns and Aaron B. Koontz. Is uh, Aaron B. Koontz related to Dean? That's a good question. Um, would explain a lot because both the book and the movie were uh, was starring Christopher Denham, Nadja Babliva, and Catherine Curtin. That would be Nadia. Nadia. I know it's got a J, but it's Nadia. <laughs> no, no, Naj, Nadja. <laughs> Nadja. Nadja. It's Eastern European. Nadja. <laughs> And Catherine Curtin, as we oh, Captain Botox. Yeah, yes. yeah. Granny, good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! I didn't know Dark Side would release her for this kind of work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. So I guess starting off, how accurate does everybody feel that that uh, synopsis was? It was it was kind of vague because there's mm -hmm. lots of stuff that goes on in between and it doesn't exactly. It sounds like he's taking pictures of crime scenes trying to stop them. But right, that's not at all what's going on. Mm -mm. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It, was, it seemed kind of vague to me. It, it, there was a little actually more to the film than what that lead. If I had saw that on something like going to the old video stores and look at the back of the case. Yeah. Unless the initial image on the front captured my attention, that probably would have made me put it back. Because mm -hmm. it was kind of vague. It was It was very vague. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? We've got the sign language going on. I see here. that. Mm -hmm. You can't hear sign language on the radio. No, you no. can't. No. <laughs> I love that book. <laughs> <laughs> Is that any better? Yeah, okay. I, think I might get smacked here in a minute. I mean, we need to trade places with <laughs> smack you, smack you. Um, There is actually no trivia get smacked, right now. I definitely will. <laughs> uh, no trivia. Uh, it was shot in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess I could see I wonder a why bit he was that. freaking out all the time. It was so damn hot. He didn't know what the hell to do. He lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know at some points, y'all, Mike said it felt kind of dis disjointed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very. But I think that that was part of the PTSD. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this, he's a veteran who has PTSD and he just came back and all that. And so I feel like maybe that's how your brain would work if you were having a mental break. Maybe so. You know what I mean? Like losing right. time and skipping forward and, you know, just all over the place. Mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine. So... Dealing with what the synopsis said, I, I can't think what my least favorite aspect of the movie is, is that said his already what fragile, of, fragile sanity. sanity. Fragile grips of sanity. It, the movie doesn't good, do a good job of setting that up. No. 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 And in fact, it is really disrespectful to anybody that's a combat veteran it, as it far is. as yes. PTSD. 
because the way the the way the cop that it, you know the the informed officer who's like there's something wrong with that guy yeah the way she addresses it is just like he saw all that stuff you don't know what he's capable of of course right. he's the gonna words be crazy he, she used were what he's been desensitized to yes so, so which in one aspect does make sense because of course you know when you're not that I have been but I do know people that have been over there and so mm-hmm. we all but they are really desensitized after a while being around all that, like, mm-hmm. the noise. Yeah, but I don't... come home. But the thing about it is, is that the way it was done, it could have been handled a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. but... I wouldn't say that every PTSD veteran deals with decent sizes no. to it. Mm-hmm. You no. know, I'd, I've seen it to I think where some of it keeps loud noises, them. like fireworks, you can't do fireworks near some veterans' Quiet. houses because it... It scares them and yeah. it sends them back to where they were. I know, I know a few people who came over with PTSD, and, yeah. and they've all handled it very differently. Yeah. One of them could have been on the desensitization side; the others were very much carrying things around. Right. Well, mm-hmm. and it, <laughs> well, think of it like this. I'll just say this: I'm sorry, right now, mom, but you're going to be used as an example. <coughs> um, she was over in. Iraq several times and uh-huh. she's you she said that the noise was not scaring her or bringing any flashbacks the noise was good it was when it was quiet that you she freaked out of her skin so to speak because she, there was no knowing what was coming next so noise was always good so she always had to for a while when she came home I know she always had to have the TV on even if it was really low just as long as there was some white noise in the background. Otherwise, she would be pacing all night. And, you know, like you said, other people handle it differently. Some people no. handle it, you know, with the loud noises. With her, it was the quietness. Some people, it was um, strobe lights. Mm-hmm. Would send mm-hmm. them. Oh, can't have a strobe light in my house. Yeah. Nope. No. Um, oh. Oh, some of them were strobe lights that would set them off. Um, certain phrases, you know. No. Yeah. Uh, screaming of kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just certain things for different people. Yeah. Well, you also have to think that, uh, <clears throat> you know, I know they really coined the whole PTSD after the Iraqi Desert Storm right. kind of stuff. But you think about even the Vietnam vets that came oh, back yeah. with oh, all yeah. those oh, same way, way situations. Back. But Tom Savini, which everybody knows is one of the godfather of gore, um, he, for some reason, as a photographer in the military, could look at it through the lens of the camera and think of it like film. Like, oh, so that's how I would do send you this way and that's how I... But if he took the camera down, then it was like, oh my God. Well, right. that's that like distance. you in real that's life. That's being able to compartmentalize your, yeah. your yeah. thoughts. And yeah. it felt like in this movie that he could not. No. Mm-mm. And that it takes a very strong-willed person to be able to compartmentalize, you know, oops, this is what's going on. Right. This is what I'm seeing. Eventually, I'm going to have to go home and yeah. try and be normal. Try, mm-hmm. Try to, you know leave all of that behind and you can't do it. I mean, there's no way. Right. Everybody has a past and it, sometimes it just comes up in different ways. And Yeah. You yeah. Know, so. Yeah. But. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, there was, it, as a filmmaker myself, there were, there were points of the film where I was just like, not sure I would have done it that way. And we just to let everybody know, we, we watched the director's cut. We did. So there was more added footage than what the typical feature would Maybe have been. we should have tried the theatrical version first, Maybe. but we weren't real sure about it yeah. because we all we had heard and seen was the trailer. Yeah. And then we've had several movies where we were like, well, I wonder what that would have looked like in with the, the director's, director's cut. cut. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we were like, well, there it is. Let's go with that one. Right. In, in general, I always, in general, I do offer director's cut, never extended editions. Because right. extended this means... This one isn't extended. It no, means, extended it means they just added stuff to it to yeah. fill yeah. the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Director's cut yeah. is what is supposed to be what the director actually envisioned. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. There were there were some parts that seemed off, like different... Like the characters. There was sometimes the characters seemed... Not in sync with each other. Yeah. And being like the cop lady. Yeah. She just seemed like she was forcing all of that it was, right. did not seem like natural natural yeah 
and no character is worse than the fiance in that. No, the fiance is horrible. Yeah, she was. Uh. She was like completely <laughs> and. And the entire to, movie to hinges on him fiance. protecting her, and by it does. By the time he kills one person for her, and she's like, they got they got her anymore. snippy. You're yeah. just like, You're, and the movie did you no favors in figuring out what she was talking about at no, first. No, no, right, <laughs> no. Yeah, and she, her, her, her flip flopping there towards the end, where she's like, she's, I, I'm like, I don't, are you drunk on wine? Is that why you're okay with him now? And then right? you sobered yeah. up, and you're like, get the hell out! Or yeah, it was very, it was very back and forth. But maybe she had PTSD too. Maybe, maybe she so. had bipolar. I don't <laughs> there was something up with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I think it was, I think that was just supposed to be distance, like mm-hmm. the distance of a couple of days. Like, well, I snapped at him, ye- I snapped at him yesterday, the day before. I've had time to cool off. And now. keep in mind, this whole, this whole scenario in this movie happens in eleven days, mm-hmm. and so it's very, one day is this, and the next day, and then it's very, mm-hmm. you know. Which, again, was Chopped. where I was kind of going, was it, it seemed very choppy to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand it was more than likely trying to be, make it that, that kind of, we don't know if it's in his mind or what kind Dis- of choppiness. Disorienting. Right. right. But to me, it, it didn't really relate that passage of time correctly. Right. Because it was like, okay, we're here, and now we're here, and now we're here. You know, just like with her, it, it, did she... Do the whole I'm sorry one day, and it was like two days later. She's like, "You're you're fucking up." Well, and and part of that was that if you blinked, you missed some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like Mike was saying about the time, whenever the pictures are are time stamped, and he would set his clock to go backwards. And then Mike was like, well, it was seven, and then it was five, and then it was four. You know, what's going on? And it, mm-hmm. Because it was counting backwards, but he missed that part. and so Right, which I thought because he was in the military, it was counting military time. Right. And I'm like, wait a minute, it was 10 o'clock just a minute ago, and now it's 4 o'clock. And right. then it's 5 o'clock, and then it's 3 o'clock. I'm like, well, yeah. what? what is going on? Right. I, so his three days in the holding cell didn't really... It was hard I don't to think determine. It was a full three days, though. Mm-mm. He was. Just, it, it he was, just says he'd been there all day. Yeah, because yeah. he started at twenty. Yeah, and he like got twenty all, and something. He it was got all seven twenty. So was, he was in there for about eighteen hours because it was yeah. like an hour and forty minutes or something, right. hour and a half yeah. left. So okay, uh, the other actor, the other detective, uh-huh. they were like, he looks really familiar. Uh, yeah, um, was in John dies at the end. Oh, oh okay. yes. There you go. There you go. He was in a voice <laughs> in Ant Man. Um, he was in Ant Man? He was a voice in oh. Ant Man. Let's see, what is else it, was there? Is that the guest? Yes, the guest. Okay. He was in the guest. Those are the two uh, movies. Video I'm Game High movie. School. He was in that. Is he the brother in the guest? Uh, mm-hmm. Zeke, whoever that is. Okay. Um, no, he was at the party. Oh, okay. Yeah, John dies at the end. Mall Madness, Ian Blackwell, um, and his name is Chase Williams. Chase Williams, yeah. But he's the main character in John's Eyes at the end, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Um, Dated Wong. And just to let everybody know, he is from South Lake, Texas. Okay. Okay. Well, Word Texan up to boy. The Texan. I love the Texas boys. Well, I don't know if you do, but I definitely do. I love John dies at the end, so. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't understand that one. <laughs> that That is a movie that's much more complex than this movie. <laughs> that uh, movie requires massive quantities of LSD or massive bottles of vodka. I have not Maybe seen Maybe Ritalin. <laughs> Ritalin. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I haven't seen it either. No, seen it. not necessarily. John dies at the end. Have you seen it? it? No. <gasps> I haven't. Me, me and Katie, right neither one have seen it. Yeah, you guys it. have got to get on the sauce. I've seen it. You've seen it. Why can I never? Are you on the sauce? I've seen. <laughs> it's got because Paul she's Giamatti. Hungry. It's got Paul, Paul Giamatti. Giamatti. It's the one written by the the senior editor at Cracked. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could see. And there's like, face. There's, there's like there's like there's like the, there's like the one scene. It was scene. A very like. Oh God! How the hell am I? Supposed there's like to know the this? one scene after he's di- <laughs> after he's died and his friend answers the phone. And he goes, <laughs> "Yeah, pick up the hot dog, John." I don't remember um, that at all. <laughs> Somebody was beating on the table. That was me. Yeah. He's like, John, where are you? So, Heaven. Crowley. <laughs> Baby Cujo, chill. So do you remember Detention, but not that one? Yeah, 
Okay. You paid attention. Why can't you not remember the one you liked? I don't because know. Because she hated that one. <laughs> it's she's easier to remember the one she hated. her, Paul. Jesus. <laughs> she's losing her mind. Blame the surgeons. I can never have enough to be satisfied and anymore. Yeah. Well, you got to pay his way to Cabo somehow, honey. No, Noah, Se- <laughs> Noah Segan was the guy that uh, you didn't like. His friend in the bar. He also looked familiar. But weird smile you said he had a very joker <laughs> smile who was tad yeah oh no, yeah mr. we gotta figure out who mr tad was. Oh. Hey, girl there you go that's why there's where you were from oh Wait. crap i do remember and from brick. brick yeah and looper so yep i've seen him before too yep kate you feel like there's a whole conversation going on and we're they're talking about yeah, tad talking was about th- tad was jeremy king and he Let's played see. in which he didn't look... Oh, he was in El Chupacabra, which was another one that... Um, Did I see 10 Cloverfield Lane? Was it... Uh, Did you not see it? No, but I mean, is was he listed there? Or no, that's a banner ad. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a banner <laughs> ad. He, he was in Chupacabra with Chase Williamson. Yeah, the Chupacabra. Okay. With Chase Williamson. And, uh... Let's see what else. I went to a school... I went to school with a guy named Chase Williamson. Terminal Kill. He's 29. A Jakey Jack shoot. That might be <laughs> That's a right. Short film. Hmm. December, I like you. The policy of murder. A waste you, of space. Well, he was on screen getting killed for like seven minutes, so you should you should have been able to get a good look at him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't him. He had the hardest wood and the lowest sales. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> lowest exactly. prices. Why won't you Paul? die? Lowest prices. Why won't you die? He just wouldn't die. He wouldn't no. giving it up. Oh. No. I wonder how much of the director's cut footage was just that. I don't know, right? right? Yes. Yeah. It's like a date on prom night. Yeah, they, they may, the theatrical I'm version may have cut out some, some of that. Because her voice just went up like eight octaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is way on up there, Chris. How did you do that? I know how to make a guy do that, but how do you do a girl? <laughs> well, the whole film really kind of started out interesting because we all made the comment that we thought that she was in a church and come to find out she was in an auction yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) because it was really set up more like like a a church church than it was like an auction house exactly yeah which i mean they also never give a reason for her to be at an auction house they don't do they no no She's just there with she's a friend. She's there with a friend. Yeah. She's looking for a gift for her fiance. No, it's a spur no, of the no, moment. No, 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 no. It was a spur of the moment. She went with her friend to this auction and found sure. the camera. Some people go to yeah. auctions for the fun of it. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. My daddy's an auctioneer. <laughs> yes, he can do that very All right. well. And keep in mind, um, he's also extremely loud. Mm-hmm. So next imagine. up on the auction block, we got ourselves a funky German camera. It's from the <laughs> '40s. It loads backwards. There's a spirit crystal in it. People will die. <laughs> what have I got? I got 40 <laughs> <laughs> um, Granny Goodnight. Oh yeah, Granny Goodnight. Um, she's 36 episodes of Orange Is the New Black. Mm. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. I'm not a fan. Blue Bloods. One episode. One episode. There's a dog snoring under the table. Oh, dog snoring under the table. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, the changeling? The changeling. The original? No. No. No, okay. Uh, it is Changeling, so it was a TV series. Oh, sorry. Oh. Eh. Uh, crazy famous. <laughs> crazy famous. Cut, shoot, kill. Lots of TV here. Yeah. She's on a lot of TV. I She's in Wolf of Wall Street. Um... She was in Ghoul, the Born. Okay, Legacy. but she still she, should not She was not in a short film called Jewish them. Girls Are Easy. Oh <laughs> Lord! Did you say Juice Girls Are Easy? Jewish. Jewish, Jewish. Oh. Girls Are Easy. I don't think you're movie allowed title to say people. That. Movie <laughs> movie title. <laughs> and then, and then she was in a short film called It Goes Quiet. Oh no! And you were supposed to go quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Those Wolf Jewish of Wall Street. She was FBI it. agent number one. Yeah, that's what I said. Hmm. Oh, she was in The Guiding Light. Ooh, Guiding Light. Yes. She As could get on Fran. a soap opera? I guess. She started on a soap opera. Hmm. Okay. So did Jensen Ackles. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could see Jensen Ackles. This <laughs> was too. pretty good. This was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was even in Sex in the City. 
Is she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Well, she still loves oh, you. She but, you know, I'm just two. saying Jensen Ackles. <laughs> he is pretty. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good old Texas boys again. Moving on. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jared Padalak is okay. He's just too much of a whiny baby. I had I have a friend who is, whose math teacher is actually Jared Padalecki's mother. Nice. Yeah, now that's mm. nice. Yeah, high school math teacher. Oh, see my little boy, Jared. Yeah, I went to. I worked with a guy for a while that uh, he dies a lot. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) in such a nice way. He's such a good boy. He's a good boy. Is he Jewish? It has nothing to do with the fact that he was losing a girl vessel. (laughs) (laughs) No, I was about about to say that he's such a nice boy. I'm like, well, he was on Lucifer's side. (laughs) (laughs) He's such a nice boy. The way she made it sound Borat? like he was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's my oh. sister. <laughs> He's Jared. He's a very good boy. <laughs> oh. He's no Crowley, mind you, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, I worked with a guy uh, a few years ago that uh, went to high school with Robert Rodriguez's sisters. Hmm. and All of would, them? <laughs> I, think he was, I think it was two around his age period. The twins? Maybe. Jesus. Okay. Um, and so he was getting ready to start doing Sin City 2. So mm-hmm. he emails the sister and he's like, Are they is he shooting around here? She goes, No, he's shooting in LA and uh, I'd love to get in contact with him for you, but I'm currently on tour in Europe. And I'm like, Damn, I wanted to be on set. Right? <laughs> So, that camera was obscura. It was, mm-hmm. in parts. Yeah, and to me, it seemed like when he took it to the film guy, or the camera guy. The one-hour Photoshop. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 the, no, the no, other the guy. Oh, no, no, oh, okay. yeah, the, the other guy. The camera guy. The camera the guy. Expert. The expert, yeah. Okay. It, it seemed to me like, of course, I really only kind of saw it from the back. I was like, camera is not from the 1930s. It looks too new. Well, you you were saying DSLR, and the only DSLR I know that has that SLR, body no would would be like uh, the Sony models. No, like, no, no, just SLRs. Oh, yeah. SLR. Yeah, yeah, just SLR. Okay. I, at first, I said DSLR, then I took the D away. Okay. Yeah. I was like, no D. No, no D. D for you. <laughs> no D for you, poor Tad. <laughs> no D. Tad's dead. No Tad's D. Tad's dead. Finally. I know. It took forever. You got yeah. double tapped. Yeah. And I don't know if I want to buy those knives now because evidently they don't kill. No. Stupid Tanaka knives. They go in easy. They don't kill you. Yeah, they no. go in Damn easy. It. I think that had more to do with his aim. <laughs> Maybe it was because Tad, Tad's hard wood. I don't know. <laughs> That's his in the way. Hold on. Did the, did the synopsis say he was a combat veteran? Yes. Yeah. He, he was a he photographer. Wasn't. No, he was a photographer. Wait a minute. Okay, there's another problem. I could have sworn it said photographer. She would look back at. Yeah, he's an army photographer, veteran war photographer. Yeah. Okay. 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 Veteran. Not veteran. Combat. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Means he's been over there. But. Yeah. Yeah. He was there. He was taking yeah. all the pictures. Smile for me. Mm-hmm. Get on that tank and smile for me. Nope. <laughs> I think you smile in war pictures. <laughs> I don't think so. I no. don't think so. Unless you've got what is it? What do they call that? The shot. You're in shock. Yeah, but they call it something. Um, it's got a name. Disorder. No. Unless you're delivering care packages, yeah, if you smile on a photo, there's, you're, they're probably not going to use that photo for no. anything. It's some sort of shock, <laughs> but it, it, it has a name. And hmm. there's lots of pictures like from World War II where they've got them in the trenches and they've yeah. got that yeah. mad mm-hmm. smile. Not mad as an angry, but mad Click here if you'd crazy. like to learn more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It happened to French troops a lot in yes. World War I. Oh, the about Russians? We don't know a lot about the Russians. We, know we don't know about the Russians. A lot about French troops. No, okay. and French British troops. troops. Yes, British but troops. No Russians. Those French and British. They drink too They're much behind vodka. the Iron Curtain still. Oh, we yeah, can't okay. get to them yet. <laughs> they're a little drunk. <laughs> well, they're not Putin in their two cents. See what I did there? I think the most exciting part of the whole film was the fight with Tad because it, it took like yeah. ten minutes, yeah. and Tad wouldn't die like yeah. the lady. Everybody else like, died Austin really easy. Too. Just mm-hmm. like, done. He was like killing him all kinds of ways. It was, really, yeah. it was really good. Tad and then, was not going down. Without and a then fight. he died from a blunt, like wooden picket to the chest. Yeah. 
Well, blunt. And, and it could have had sharp blunt. edges. No, it was no, blunt. It was, oh, no, it was blunt. It was blunt. Like, it was blunt on that rounded. Like, Just <laughs> like he was masculine oh enough God. to punch right through his car window. Yeah. Not, not not punch through it. He hit it knuckle first. Like, yeah. I don't I know mean, how to explain like, that motion. It's like, like elbow, did your arm like all, elbow, all of a sudden turn green? Or did you hulk out? Right. Yeah. He pivoted it he on did. his elbow. Yeah. Like a 90 degree angle. It must have been physics. Candy glass? Right. It yeah. was it was cracked to begin with. Yeah, but yeah it yeah, had it to be because it's we know an easy safety glass and cars. It's part yeah, the of the way cars he was package. Down in the you know, and it's funny because until we got to Tad scene mm-hmm. when he's killing them, it mm-hmm. never. I mean, other than well, no, I guess it did. The first few scenes, like when it showed, like I guess flashbacks, right? Or when he, like the lady, I think it was a, oh, I guess it was a flashback where the lady. Gives the kid the poison and then yeah. shoots mm-hmm. herself. It never shows him shoot herself. No, mm-hmm. it just shows her it cuts away. And I never it, understood it sh- the whole book the, stuff. I he was looking it up, but I don't know why he was looking it exactly. up. Exactly, really. He was trying to find it. out why was he looking it up, Paul. Yeah, and what the person... There was a whole area when I had all those flashbacks. He was actually in like a library looking at books, reading these... That was right mm-hmm. before he went to see the expert. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. he was trying to find out who owned the oh, camera. Oh, I guess he was trying to find oh, out more okay. about the camera. And, mm-hmm. yeah, he was try- yeah, he was trying to find out more about the camera, but the research actually ended up leading him to a, another killer who was supposedly on the loose mm-hmm. and then presumed dead. He was a yeah. serial killer. Serial. Yep. He killed that serial. <laughs> killed that serial. But no presumably tricks for you. <laughs> but had some involvement with the camera. Mm-hmm. He did. It um, was kind of like a haunted he, object mashed with... Psychological horror. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. All in all, I liked it. It was not a bad film. It was mm-hmm. not. Um, I myself would probably have given it two and a half, three stars. I'm going to watch it again mm-hmm. uh, and see if that, that increases... But uh, at this point, about two and a half to three stars. Yeah, I agree. I uh, three. I'm probably good with the one viewing though. I um, feel like there's. I feel like we missed something. Like there's something in there, and this is why there's five of us that watch the movie at the same time because all of us see something different. You know, like I noticed the time counting backwards, and right. you know, Katie noticed the text messages. The no, not some other part. I can't remember. It my head hurts. <laughs> um, anyways, but we all catch something different. So when we don't understand something, we're like, oh, and mm-hmm. Paul's like, oh, hey, yeah, this is what this means. And this is what Mike says. And this is, you know, we saw no. this and that. And why right. was he doing this? And no. well, he was doing it because this. Yeah. My, my, uh, what I was <clears throat> saying right after we got, right after we got done watching it is something I enjoyed about this movie is with this type of plot. I mean, it's not, Revolutionary. You've seen it before. Mm-hmm. He he and you know guy ends up kind of roped into uh, killing people. Yeah, I mean, I can think of Little Shop of Horrors off the top of my head. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, normally, if you get a psychological horror that does this, you get a whole lot of really grotesque, dirty, make you feel dirty scenes where you start like feeling uh, about the character. Yeah, and. Mm-hmm. and all the attack scenes, because you've got a couple of, you've got a couple accidental scenes before he actually has to go into motivation and do it himself, trying to save the life of his fiance. He's very he's, inexperienced. He, in his, he's very inexperienced yes. about it. Um, it's handled. The hooker Most... in the bathtub, I'm just saying, that was my favorite scene because he <laughs> slipped and fell and landed back in the bathtub with the hooker. <laughs> and well, then I... couldn't get out of it. And <laughs> he couldn't get out of it, and then he slid some more on blood. Now, when he got all the rolls back, did the first roll have an image of his fiance? It was the no, kid. it was the kid. Was the That's kid. what I was thinking, because I thought it was like... He went through all the pictures and was like, this person and this person, and then there was one that had his fiance. And then it seemed from there, the didn't. rest of it changed to just his fiance. But here's my thing. Okay, so photography gets developed and, you know, with the laws, you know, anything that is construed as um, sexual graphic nature or yeah, they should have reported the pictures before. But they should have taken those pictures. When they, when they do develop film, there are 
before digital cameras and when they're actually using film. Right. There were a lot of police departments that would send their per- forensic pictures to one-hour photo places. True. Right. And so they didn't think anything about it because their police pictures. Except it's right after that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this, and you know, well, you my know, thing well, is, I mean, is well, if the also, guy is developing or, or the pictures. Or also had the police officers filling out the tags as search and search police department. Right. Well, well, honestly, though, I mean, that that's easily explained away with just how reputable that uh, the, the right. photography developer right. is. Because right. <laughs> yeah. he, he, do, he does report him in the end. He just like shows up in the 11th hour. Hey, so yeah, I'm but looking at these. How many roles did he develop before he did that? Yeah. That's my thing. Maybe, the, maybe the kid was developing them and the kid was like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Oh man, this looks <laughs> wicked, dude. <laughs> I feel like if we took pictures during shooting of film, right, and then had them developed. Yeah, if we there was had the cops on us, exactly, so exactly. Fast. That's what I'm saying. But but see, there again, it's how if I if if we did that and you just went, up, oh, these are Heather's pictures, then they'd look at it and be like, the only the, some places, some yeah, places don't do it. Um, it's one of the main reasons I got kicked we out of the website. In. A lot of them don't want to have to deal with the police. True. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know, I mean, but, it looked kind of shady up in there. In that. But if we oh, went yeah. in there and put it down Top Box Studios Film Company, then, then, they, would, then they would be like, oh, it. these are just pictures of a, of a set. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. The other thing that, the other thing that is, is about it is I just got, um, last weekend I watched Neon Demon. That movie starts off with them doing a photo shoot in which Elle Fanning is posed to look like she has her throat slit while she's all glamour photo. Which there is sort of a weird underground movement where they have... Gore fl- gore, gore, yeah, yeah, gore, gore fetish dyes, yeah. all this type well, of stuff. what was that? Uh, ghouls and dead people or something like that where it's uh, basically a gore pinup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there is an underground following but still I mean and even with everyone that laws. but here's the thing what type of person is most likely to use film in this day and age? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Artists. Almost all of it's mm-hmm. digital. True. So mm-hmm. you're not taking it anywhere and yeah, you what, can go get your own little photo printers. Well, I know what I'm saying is if if you're go, if you're getting it going to get it developed, you're 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 shooting in film. And almost everyone that shoots in film these days is an, an artist. artist. Mm-hmm. Right. So, in general, you're going to see a lot of posed, weird, right. avant-garde yes. stuff. Right. And, just and most of the ones stuff. that are that professional already have their own film developing rooms. Mm-hmm. So, they're doing it themselves. Yeah. The one thing, though, uh, that really threw me is when the camera expert was talking about the camera. He goes, well, this is a German model, you know, whatever. The odd thing about this is the frames f- go forward a little differently, and the film is loaded on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, unless he found on eBay somewhere some film that uh, actually he, he fit had in the it. film, he had a yeah. box, and he just went and loaded it. Okay, because I, I, okay, see, that's what was throwing me. I was like, how did he get this? He didn't walk down to Walmart and get some 35 millimeter film and just put it in because maybe it, it wouldn't have fit. Maybe it came with the auction lot. It they may, didn't say where that box came from. He right. just had a bo- He just had a plastic box and it had like a whole bit, bunch of film. It's like right. that haunted object you find and you think it's great and you take it home because it's vintage and then all of a sudden you know weird shit starts oh, happening. Oh, so like it all the mass murder, eight and- millimeter real films and sinister happen to come with a projector. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Other, otherwise, you're just like, oh, well, wish I could watch this. And right? Mr. Boogie's up there in the attic. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> List of things for next time. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay. The gin box, you know, taking over your soul. You know, <laughs> corrupting your child. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. So the thing, something to note is we said it's got the haunted camera vibe going. Yeah. This is not a very supernatural film. No, it's really not. It's not. Mm-mm. And that kills me because whenever... I knew nothing about this movie before today. Right. Yeah, and, I, I, and you said camera obscura, and the first thing that popped into my head was, oh, I know about the camera obscura. It's like, it's got this whole kind of folklore thing going on, and uh, the Fatal Frame games from the PlayStation era utilized it 
Sorry. Somebody's humming. Yep. And it's you. <laughs> mic is off the mic. Nope. Nope. Oh. Humming. Still humming. <clears throat> okay. Um, there we go. All right. Um, so, yeah, I was, uh, as I was saying, uh, I knew about Camera Obscura going in, and it's very based in Supernatural, everything I've seen right. about Camera Obscura right. to this point. And, like, it's about, like, being able to photograph spirits or using it to combat ghosts yeah. and stuff. Right. Which, which and, made me think that this was going to be very similar to possibly Shudder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw right. you off your game a little. <laughs> so... I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but that's mm-hmm. kind of where I was. Yeah, it, it kind of felt much, like this much were, more, much more in the lines of a curse than yeah. anything yeah. Right. else. Right. But yeah, that's what I thought when I first read the description of it, and then we kind of watched the trailer. I'm like, so it's kind of like Shutter, where he takes the photos and there's the dead people in it. And, and I was like, well, no, I don't think so, because I don't see any dead people. Yeah, I'm not seeing dead people. Sorry, <laughs> Just everywhere. I see them nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't having none of that. I ain't having none of that. I ain't none of that. So, I don't know. I just... There were things about it that just made me go, okay. And I understand, as a filmmaker, you know, that the story... The things that happen in the story only have to be plausible in that story. It doesn't have to be plausible in real life. Right, right. There was just parts of it that was like, wait a minute. And I think it was the pacing. And, it was, and, a, and, it was and a little editing. off with the pacing and the editing, but all in all, I mean, mm-hmm. not the worst movie we've watched. Oh no! no. Mm-hmm. So, not. Katie, dun, you dun, said dun. midway through the movie, you said uh, whenever we were we had to pause and everybody was asked how they were liking it, you said you were digging it because you liked the main character. Mm-hmm. Is there a specific reason you were in, invested in him? Or uh, well, hot dicks. <laughs> it had less to do with his appearance. I'm just making okay. fun of you. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't that hot. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No. But I think Sorry. that's what appealed to me is that he's nerdy. He's geeky. He's, he's, pretty pretty he's not your typical guy. guy. He, he sort but of looked like... Remember, we were talking about this in the car about guys. You know, it, they may not be the most attractive on the outside, but all their... Other things make yes. up for it. Mm-hmm. The geekiness, the nerdiness, the, the intelligence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like that. PTSD in there. Yeah. That's, that's fun. Well, yeah. you know, shake your meds. You're crazy if you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... Now, he looks like Will Whedon with, merged with Casey Affleck. Oh, I, I would, yes. I would, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I would see that. Totally. <laughs> I don't think I'd be that detrimental about him to call him Will Whedon. <laughs> Much um, more Casey Affleck in the face. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, and, and I'm with Katie. He really was likable. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, he was kind of the guy next off. door. But, but I mean, yeah. but not off in like a bad way. Not off like the crazy guy from down the road. You know what I yeah. mean? He just your neighbor. You could tell. <laughs> hey, that's not what I said. <laughs> didn't bring my. I didn't it, bring anybody. In was it? Was he Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. No. <laughs> he had that. Uh, Every day, someone you'd see in Walmart kind of look. Yes, mm-hmm. you yes. Know, it was a lot of those. It wasn't super, you know. <laughs> no, he was. He wasn't Brad Pitt. like right. He wasn't like the buff soldiers that you think about coming home. Yeah. Right. He wasn't mm-hmm. the, you know, super handsome guy mm-hmm. from next door. He, right. was, he was just the just, average he was guy. An average guy that gets that has PTSD and gets his camera, yeah. which yeah. you know made you him likable on one aspect. But then, on the other hand, but when he is murdering these people. It's it's does it he's not enjoying it and you can totally no, tell he's yeah. not enjoying he is trying to get away with it as Paul pointed out but <laughs> he is not enjoying it no and I so. think that's a problem with a lot of movies is like whenever you have the killer thrust into the role they develop a bloodlust they do and they and, want to kill and yeah this this guy did not want to kill no yeah because which is even, what made him so likable I think even in the what. ten minutes with Tad. Every time he had to do another thing to get to, get to him, like, oh, he just really? had this look on his face like, just die already so I can get this done over and be gone. And it's yeah. like, hey, I got a 12.30. Let's hurry this up. No. Yeah. And okay. he didn't select Tad. No. No. No, no Tad happened. Tad, Tad happened. selected him <laughs> yes. with his tiny little waist. Yeah. Hashtag Tad happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tad did have <laughs> And you could almost say. And his girly wrist. And it wasn't until <laughs> that the news the news was talking about the serial killer on the TV that Tad was like, "It looks like you had the serial killer kind of a 
starter kit. Wait a minute. What are you doing with this? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you what you're well, doing no, with all this. Well, no. No. The, the instigation was... Hey, do you happen to have that stuff that you can put on a grag right. and put it to somebody's face? Knock somebody out. Yeah, out. You want to knock somebody out? It's like go to what a hardware like store a, and ask for chloroform. Yeah. yeah. What is this a, kind of a whatever whatever his name serial killer starter kit? Wait, what are you doing with this? Yeah, <laughs> you ask what are you doing with it, this? Here's one thing. How many of those questions did we get in Home Depot? Oh yeah. <laughs> but why do you but need to get those well, you could also, uh, But you could also say he was kind of like, wait a minute, Tad's hitting on me. I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> Because Tad was like, let me show you how to use this hammer with those little wrists of yours. Yeah, yeah right. those girly wrists. And he starts reading for, reaching hips. for his waist. Dain- he's like, dainty you? hips, yeah. That yeah, was dainty so, hips so. because you may need a belt to hold all this tools. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, hold on. What are you doing? You're either really demeaning or really coming on to me. I yeah. don't know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> it right. did seem a little <laughs> gayish. Uh, no, I, like there was some sexual tension there, yeah. a little bit, little, little. especially since it was much more than fiance. Espe- especially when he talks about "Welcome to Taz," where we've got hardwood and low prices. We got the yeah. hardest wood and lowest prices. He, he kind of <laughs> sounded like a hooker Dude, on the strip. Dude, you do that a little too well for my. Life. I'm sorry. You tried to make him McConaughey, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely was not. No. <laughs> sorry, we like Tad. McConaughey, but it, it just seemed coincidental that the news was just talking about the serial killer on the TV Mm -hmm. just at that whole point where he's like by the way do you have any of that stuff put on a rag and pull over someone's face that knocks people out you would think he being a war veteran he might know what chloroform was Yeah, we all do I don't. You would think if he's watched. I don't any, think in combat you get to use chloroform. No, there, but you would much. think if he'd watched any criminal movies or crime movies at any time and in his life, some, he yeah. did do some research. Yeah, so yeah. he was always in the library. He was Ooh, in the library. The, I think the the one part of that movie that that made me kind of cringe was the centipede on his face. <laughs> oh, the millipede. The millipede. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was no. always a millipede. They didn't always. explain any of that either. Yeah, no, did, none of the violent it? scenes made anyone yeah. cringe in the room. No, but the millipede on his face. And they half did. the room was ah. They, they did explain it, and when he was in the psychiatrist's office, right, he talks about having the dream, right, where there's always the bug, and the okay. bug is the millipede. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. That makes See, a this more is, sense. This now. is why we watch together. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I caught that part. Yeah, because I was like, why does this millipede keep showing up? Because it was in his dream with, and with a psychiatrist. It's because okay. he watched Nine Inch Nails videos in the 90s, so <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the symbolism he goes with. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Guess so. Yeah, I, just didn't like, I didn't care for the millipede. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not on the face. No, 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 no. Yeah. I was fine I do as bugs. long as it tried. To, it didn't try to go up his nose or something. Well, I, I, don't do I, do it. I don't do bugs. I wonder how many takes that took. A lot, I bet. I mean... Without I him handle, twitching? Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, he was, like, completely freaking still, yeah. still and this thing mm-hmm. was crawling on his face. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't do bugs. Sorry. And, and, and it may not have been. He may have actually had the makeup department do a head bust of him and just be like, okay, put that in there. They get the few seconds of it on his face, and then... If I were directing, I'd be looking for another actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to put this it's, millipede on your like, face, am, and you're going to like I'm it. I'm not <laughs> spending extra money for you just because you're squeamish about a bug on your right. face. Yeah. I mean, come on. Kane Hodder had maggots on his face. <laughs> Somebody reading this script. Oh, God, i got to put a millipede on my face. No, thank you. I pass. I pass. <laughs> this guy's like, I can do that. What are you, what, do what, that, what are you sharing? Stone and deadly now, blessing? I can, I can sit here with a, with a millipede on my face. Yeah. Much, much more a millipede than a centipede. Well, I don't know. It was big so and long and had lots of legs. Centipedes are poisonous. I don't know. It was big and long and had lots of legs. It's it was, a bug. It was it's a, a millipede. millipede. It's a bug. Centipedes are the red and yellow ones. Who cares? Oh, okay. It's a bug it's on a your face. bug on the yeah. face. Not caring what no. kind of bug. I'm way well, Would you rather have been the needle in the eye as we talked about earlier? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean... I, I have a thing about needles, and I'm thinking about eyes. Mm-hmm. So having a needle going into the eye that mm-hmm. completely threw me off. I, oh. Although it was really fun making one pop out with a fork. <laughs> we got the picture of us putting that in our soup, broccoli, and cheese. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you were there. Thanks to Paul. Paul's the one that took the picture. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, this eyeball. Uh, I don't know. I just it, it was it was a decent film. I'm not going to knock it way down to like one star or no stars because there was some really decent acting in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really have to give credit to that that 
the main actor because of that whole fact that he did portray the whole I, I'm not enjoying this and you know as, as opposed to certain films kind of like this where they're just like okay if, if I gotta do it uh, 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 do it this, this was the first uh, feature I'd seen produced by Chiller mm-hmm. films mm-hmm. yeah true. and uh it didn't feel cheap. It no, didn't, it didn't. It didn't. Feel I mean, cheap. like it had Universal at the beginning of it, but I think that was just for distribution. Right? I Probably. think so because yeah. this was a very. I think the set kind of some of the settings kind of felt cheap, but well, like which ones? In the long run, maybe not. The like, house. The house. The house. The houses. Yeah, but they were. Well, you got to think it was it was shot on location in, in Baton Rouge, so there really were no sets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of it was on location work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can argue the warehouse that it begins and ends at is not a really unique location. Right. But and the house that they share, I mean, come on. That looks like a plain house. Yeah. It's just a house. I don't think I, it looks cheap, see, but I, I could see, I could see her character being I don't know who would be, be okay enough to have their bar- <laughs> uh, banister knocked off. But I didn't like yeah. her character at I all. I, <laughs> she was, she yeah. was not very likely. No. It's like no, if the house it looks bland, it's because she lives in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was her. She was yeah, very. She's a realtor. There's no way the house is going to look like that. Oh yeah, you would she's think she, she would have some, some, some. It is all the skis all over the place. It is all the finest curation she found from Pier One and Bad Be- Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the she rack. must be the clearance rack. She must both. be shop yeah. clearance <laughs> shit because. Uh, I guess the only other thing that really threw me about it was every time something happened with either the camera or the film, something would happen with like their picture or something across mm-hmm. town. Because it was symbolizing it was going to be her. Okay. It was going after her. It was but it wasn't on her. the first the two photos. It's oh. the most supernatural thing that happens in the entire yeah. movie. I wanted, yeah, but, but it doesn't it doesn't actually do that until he looks at the third picture and it's got her. Right. And then when But he then every does subsequent that, picture after that was her. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because she didn't die. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. I really wanted there to be more to do whenever they have the expert looking at it and he pulls that little piece of I something out I wanted to know what that there. was. Yeah. I wanted to know what it was and I wanted it to be significant. Yes. And none of and that happened. And it wasn't. And it should have been. Oh. Yeah. It was, a, it was a piece from uh, Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Granny could find her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so all around, I gave it a two, two, two and a half to three. Paul said three. Katie said about the same two and a half to three. What would what, what would y'all give it? Another three. A three. Two. two. Chris mm-hmm. did not enjoy it. Peace. But Word. Chris, but Chris also picked suck. So <laughs> yeah, no, well, we, we, we don't listen to her opinion very often. Hold up now. I'm comfortable with Who both of these. Who picked Snow movies. Shark? Thank you very much. It was not me. I didn't pick that. It was on. Pick We're like, what? oh hey, look, there's Snow Sharks. It's your TV. You I picked, picked it. it. He picked it. You picked Snow Shark. Yeah, I did. You're the one day. I was like, oh. <laughs> did you see shark. one today see called Ice Sharks or something? Ice Sharks and yeah, Ice Spiders. Like, ice Spiders? Give me a nice Ooh, pick. I watched one the other day <laughs> called Arachnoquake. Yeah. And it was as bad as that. it sounds. To kind of like, kind of like <laughs> Lava Lantula? Yes. A hey, bit we haven't pepper. seen two Lava, two Lantula. I know. Wait, we've got, oh. Oh, and our Sharknadoes are coming yep. back. Sharknado, yes. fun. I'm so excited. We got to do a Sharknado party. Oh, okay. we do a marathon of all the Sharknadoes. Yeah. We start at one, which has to start kind of early in the morning, and mm-hmm. then we go all the way through. Which makes you wonder if sci-fi is going to do that. And we just have and not. What? No. Oh my gosh. <gasps> People are like, oh, they're terrible movies. They're terrible movies. I don't movies. think Paul has either. Have you not so. seen them? What? Okay. <laughs> the best part are all the cameos. Yeah. Okay. Especially in two. Especially in two. Yes. But it's weird because you get. You've got all these like cameos, and it's like a bad shark movie, but the cameos make it worth. Yeah, the watch. it's like a train wreck, and you're like, oh wait, but she dies. Oh wait, he dies. Oh my god, how oh did god, he die? How again? did that happen? Yes. Where, where did that one come from? Yeah, right. you know, it was. It, yeah, it's, we did it's a guilty. really good so premiere I, thing. I'm hoping yes, Sci-Fi is going to do it because they have to start two hours earlier. Yeah, since this will be the fifth one. Yes. yes. Yeah. So and each probably one starting has, I got at to, eight uh, in the morning. I got to make my my Sharknado for my ceiling fan. Yes, you do. Yeah. I didn't get to do that last year. That's true. Yeah, I didn't get to it. I ran out of time. All right. All right. So we'll have pictures of that up on the website. Just FYI. Recommendation? <laughs> yes. No. Would this be one you'd, you'd say go watch? To do- a certain group of people. No. Okay. There are some that I would not recommend this right. for. But there are some that I'd be like, oh my gosh, you have to watch this. It's very, you know. Right. It's not like your typical 
you know what I mean, mm-hmm. serial killer, because that's I, kind of what he was, was a serial yeah. killer with a camera. I never would say you have to watch it, but if you like super uh, psychological horror films, there's definitely worse things yeah. you could watch. Yeah, like oh, yeah. It, it's it's enjoy it's entertaining. It, it was entertaining. I would also yeah. suggest watching it by yourself. Um, I mean, it worked well in a group, but it might be more effective if you're by yourself. Yeah. In the dark. With the lights off. With the lights yes. off. <laughs> and the door closed. Yeah. Because yeah. it, you have less outside. chance to miss things. Yes. Yeah. So. No. I mean, it's, it's very... Well, and with us, we're very mystery science there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, some people and, miss and there, some and stuff. There, and there were a lot of comments about, oh my god, how long is this movie? But the movie really clicks. <laughs> One hour like, and It is an hour minutes. and a half. Like, yeah, it's 95 it. minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not... And that was the director's cut. That was the yeah. director's, director's cut. cut. So, it so, it had know, a very midnight, you know, garden... Midnight, Midnight Garden. Midnight, Midnight Garden. Midnight What's that? The Garden of Good and Evil. Yes, it had that kind of long, drawn out kind of feel to it. And Just because it was, was in the like, south. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, is this thing ever going to end? How long is this thing? Now you're going to say you don't like Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Oh no, I love that, honey. <laughs> it's still drawn out. And That's long a much. That is a no, much no, longer trust, movie. <laughs> trust me. Watch. Trust me. This was nothing, nothing. like a cure for wellness. No. Cure for Wellness was over two hours, and it felt like eight. Yes. I'm glad I missed it. Yeah, you are. And I watched it highly medicated at the time, and it was... And you didn't hurt Chad. I was watching it with your husband. Chad wasn't here. He took me to the doctor, remember? beat my my husband. Let's put it this way. It was so slow, we went through a full bag of chips and almost a whole thing of, uh, what was it? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Watching it. Just mindlessly. That's... Yeah, oh, and like, our snow cones. We had oh, snow and cones. snow cones. <laughs> Just like mindlessly. Is this There's like, we ate the snow cones, end. and then she goes. And you never got brain I'm freeze? Hungry. No. No. Yeah, that is a long movie. That yeah. Is yeah. A very long movie. And, and then she's like, I'm going to get some chips. Okay. <laughs> and we were like, Keep chips are gone. <laughs> We get the Twizzlers. <laughs> well, now we we know that these two have not seen any of the Sharknados, and we must corrupt them because you know the fifth one's coming out. So we yes. got to do a big party yes, like yes. we always do like for Sharknado. <laughs> we do it up big at my house. Oh, yeah. We we do this whole gala event where we you know we bring food and we we just, need theme food this year. We yes. do. Because what Shark is it? Fin soup. I'll bring the goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> You'll bring the goldfish. <laughs> Um, Paul said he'll bring the shark steaks. What? <laughs> Chum cake. Oh. 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 Right over the edge. Right over the edge. <laughs> what, what is this one? The global or whatever? The global something, yeah. yeah. Meltdown? No. Uh, no. Global. I can't remember what I it is. I can't remember either. That's the first one. But we were actually on their Twitter feed when they were doing yeah, that last one. we were doing the live one. Twitter stuff. And uh, oh. we happened to pop up on their little TV screen thing. It was awesome. So it was kind of fun. It was like, holy shit, there we go. Sharknado 2, the second one. Sharknado 3, oh hell no. Oh hell no. Yeah. Sharknado, the f- may the fourth be with you. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And Where the fifth Sharknado? one. Hold on, i got to find it. Stop. She's that. looking. My phone's being slow. But it's really fun. Because even global if you, swarming, yeah, global <laughs> swarming. <laughs> because even if you come in late, mm-hmm. you don't miss anything. You don't really miss anything, but then you kind of can jump in and watch. I think I think we need to do like food from around the world. Like each one of us pick something. Of course, Chris is going Japanese. Wait, yeah. why I am I going Japanese? Japanese? I, I think I'm turning, turning Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> I really think so. Um, I, I don't want to do Japanese. Maybe because that's what you food. are. I don't want to do Japanese. Food. Well, I got fine. a feeling like you use me as your own personal Japanese. Food. I can cook it too. Use I just your own personal not Japanese. To. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Hurry up and uh, make some shoes. I'm your personal Japanese. <laughs> that sounds really good. On a Mexican oh, radio. Yeah. Just yes, don't shorten the word, please. Yes, Hada, I make you sushi and You'll it You'll make me sushi good. You give me and, your and raw this, fish. And, and I will tell you right now, this is not racist because Chris is Japanese. And I am. Yes, you is. I am. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. She cool. is. See? Yeah. I don't get to be anything cool. That's cool. <laughs> so, I'm also part I think, mutt, But so. I think Katie needs to bring something that's like British. I'm British not eating because, yeah. spotted dick. Screw <laughs> you. <laughs> that would be amazing. And I'm not eating well, bangers and dick. mash either. Well, wouldn't spotted dick go well with your raw fish? 
God. No, just stop. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Well, and I say that because Katie is very... With your she tuna log. And she likes Doctor Who. She's very she's British. Very British. No, she needs to bring something from Quark's Bar. <gasps> okay. Oh, yes. Well, you, are, you are Star Trek. Yes. Yes. Well, Listen to her. Did you know that there is a, uh, there is a, a cookbook? She's such a Really? You haven't seen it? Oh, Wait, you me. haven't seen the cookbook? No. There's like several of them. Really? Yep. I know what we're getting Katie for Christmas. <laughs> and there's Doctor Who cookbooks as well. Yep. There's also a Harry Potter one that I really <laughs> I want. <didn't> <laughs> so anyway, there we go. Um, Camera Obscura. Yep. Yep. So uh, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Yep. It was decent. <laughs> Whose eyes are itching? Mine. My eyes are itching. Your eyes are itching? Yes. I don't have my glasses on. I'm sitting over here rubbing my eyes. Should really I go get bad. the needle for him? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the F-bomb and everything. <laughs> Damn, FCC is going to be pissed uh, at us. <laughs> why? We're not on there. Nah. We're on the internet. Uh, internets don't count. Oh, yeah. They just add an X to us. Right, now. yeah. And that's all right. It's so, uh, <laughs> What, three strikes and you're out? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. So we got two left? Maybe. But I think we can... I think, if that's our first X, <laughs> then they've really let their standards <laughs> down a little bit. <laughs> Okay. There you go, Katie. Look over well, there. Well, Paul did flash Camera a little sign. Camera obscura. Um, we we are. got a new film coming next week, and it is uh, Paul's, Paul's turn, turn <gasps> to pick. Paul's turn to pick. So we'll see God, what he please, comes up with. Please, please, I'm begging. And we are you nothing w- from the '70s. You don't want to know the show are, tunes? We are very. <laughs> we are working on some new I stuff. Die. We're working on some new stuff. We coming. are. We yep, are. Got some new stuff coming. Looks, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. And Hopefully you will enjoy it. But find you can. Wait, where, where can you? Where can they find us? Where, 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 where are we located? You know what? I want to know where can we get some cool shit. <gasps> I think we can get that on. Where can we get that? We can the get website, that right on the website. Yep. Fear Central. Fear Central. Dot, 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 dot net. net. Mm-hmm. Yeah, FearCentral.net. Just head on over to our store tab. Yes. And uh, that is powered by Amazon.com. Ooh, so you know it's yeah. going to come to you guaranteed the way it should. Yes. Mm-hmm. Love me some Amazon. Yep. Um, Amazon is like, you know, an upgrade from eBay. eBay's it's like, like a Target on the that street. you don't have to leave yeah, your house there you for. Go. Exactly. <laughs> like yeah, I mean, exactly. Perfect. It's the Target of stores. Yeah, yes. definitely. Okay. Um, if you want to keep track of us every week, don't forget to subscribe to us over on iTunes, Google Play, or iHeartRadio. Yep. And then uh, I and go on over to our Facebook page and yep. like us. Give us yep. a like mm-hmm. on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter or Instagram. Instagram. Mm hmm. And uh, I'm also looking at adding a couple of other places where you can subscribe. Okay. So You're just like expanding their mutilated expand. media must pleasure expand. there. Must, just, must expand. You're giving them too much. Nope, never. Never enough. Never enough. But you can get enough of the stuff. But let us know what you think. Watch the movie. Let us know. You've got a pick that you think we should watch. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, let us know. We'll give it a look-see. Yep. Yeah, do that over. Uh, you can tweet that to us at hashtag FC Watch in Review. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we can get that there and, you know, and make a comment on, on if you watch what we've watched and you have a comment for it, put it on there. Something um, we missed, let us know. Something you would like to see. If you watch camera. If you want our opinion right? on a film. If you watch <laughs> Why would they if want us to do that? I mean, we've pretty much corrupted ourselves. And if you watch Camera Obscura and you want to tweet us about it, hashtag yep. Tad's Wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, dear God. <laughs> totally worth it. Tad's Hardwood? Yes. <laughs> that would be perfect. Tad's Hardwood and low price. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Only the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> or hashtag, why won't you die, Tad? Right. <laughs> All right. All right. So there we go. Uh, we've got a new movie coming next week, which will be Paul's Pick. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to us. And we will see you all again next week. And as always... Stay scared. Fear Central is a product of Thoughtbox Studios. Copyright 2017. For more information, visit thoughtboxstudios.com. <laughs> <laughs>